Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today we are going to be using Portainer to install Planka on Docker. Planka is an open source, self hosted Kanban project management tool that is similar to Trello. It allows you to create projects, boards, lists, cards, labels, and tasks and assign them to members of a team. The first thing we need to do is copy the contents of the Docker Compose file from the project page on GitHub. To do this click on docker compose.yml Next. Make sure you highlight all of the text in the file and copy it to your clipboard. Now we are ready to log in to Portainer. Once logged in, click on Stacks. Then, click on Add Stack. Now paste the contents of your clipboard into the web editor. A couple of edits have to be made to ensure that the installation runs properly. First, in the application container, localhost must be changed in the base URL variable. This is the address of the Docker host machine. Next, we need to create a secret key. To generate the key, the command listed on the project's GitHub page will be used. The command can be typed into your terminal app in order to generate a secret key. Now that the key has been generated, we will copy it to the clipboard. Then we can return to Portainer and paste it in the web editor. Now that our environment variables are set, scroll to the top and give your new container stack a name. This stack will be called Planka. Finally, scroll to the bottom and click on Deploy the stack. This could take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Now that our new stack of containers has been created, it can be viewed and controlled using Portainer. This stack of services created an application container, a database container, and four volumes on our Docker host. We can visit port 3000 on the host machine to view the application. The username and password that was provided on the project GitHub page is demo at demo.demo. The password is also demo. Now that we are logged in, the first thing, that should be done is to change the demo username and password. That can be done by clicking on the user action menu on the top right hand corner of the application. Then click on settings. The demo username can be edited by clicking on edit username. The new username we will create is striker. Next, we will change the default password. And of course, we will change our name to Striker as well. Now that we've changed our default user information, we can create our first project. The project will be called Test Project. Next, we create our first Kanban board. Now we can begin adding our lists and cards. This project will be about making a pizza. First we need to buy the ingredients. Then cook the pizza. Oops. That needs to be the last step. That can be moved to the last list. This card will be about adding our ingredients to the pizza. Each task card allows you to drill down into them to add comments, subtasks or assign labels. I'll add three subtasks and mark one as completed to show the progress bar. Next it will be assigned the red label.
due dates can also be assigned to it, and you can even track time spent on the cards. Additional details can be added in the description field in each card. Now that the card is saved, let's add another user to assign to the project. This user will be called Strikers Buddy. Now that Strikers Buddy has been added as a user, we can assign them to the project. Once additional users are added to the project, they can be assigned to the individual task cards. Now that we are finished with our project for the day, it's time to log out of the application. That's it, thank you for watching. If you have any video ideas please leave them as a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.